What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to another episode of How to Airbrush or another video, another live stream, another another one of these things where I'm here talking to you. And today uh, we have another skull. So here I have a canvas. And the canvas is actually gray today. So just decided to do a little different and we're gonna be working kind of a negative way. So usually we work with blacks and you know, kind of add colors in. This time we're gonna be working directly with white and I'm just gonna kind of try to keep it with white. We're gonna build it up. We're gonna kind of reduce it a little bit and then we're gonna build up our white tones going up. Quick, uh, easy process of creating a nice skull. Again, the image, um, obviously today you can't see it, um, but the image for the skull will be down below um, with all the links. So speaking of the links, got a shout out to our sponsors today. So as always, shout out to Createx Colors for providing the paint for today's video. Also, the links down below uh, will link you off to Spray Gunner, which also um, anything you order using those links gives a direct kickback to the channel. So it helps provide you with more videos like these. Um, what's up, Stephen Ward? How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. We're, it's another day, another day here where it's good. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, shout out to Spray Gunner. Shout out to Create. Uh, shout out to Create Text Colors. Um, and yeah. So, like I said, we're gonna be doing it negative. And yeah. So anyway, let's kind of flip over to the camera here and get started. So I'm gonna just start off by mixing up some white. Uh, simple, simple process, and I, I'm still using the GSI Creos. I'm I'm kind of really loving this airbrush. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. And we're we have a big bottle of white, but I kind of want to finish off these whites. I've been putting it off. I don't know why. When it gets down to the bottom like this, I have a, a bad tendency of just like, oh, let's that you know just put it off to the side and use the new one instead. But I need to finish these off, so I'm going to just go ahead and use some of this. And that was a little bit of the inspiration for uh, doing the gray canvas today. Hopefully we can work through some of this. There's, there's quite a bit left. So I'm doing about a one-to-one -one reduction so, uh, with the paint. So one part paint, one part reducer. About, about because I didn't measure anything out. I'm just kind of eyeballing it in there. Um, and yeah. It'll be all right. Let me get some music, man. What's this music doing? Hold on. There we go. So, yeah. And so, typically, we start off by kind of doing the forefront and moving our way kind of back. Uh, when we do the white, it's not... We're not really doing the, the back first. It's kind of still the forefront, but it's a little bit easier to kind of work your way around and um, not get uh, so kind of backtracked, like, you know, if you do something wrong. So usually we would start by doing the darkness around the eyes and stuff like that. This time we're starting with the teeth. So I'm going to start with the bottom teeth on the bottom jaw. And maybe you guys can see that there on screen. There you go. And I'm just gonna start with the very back tooth on both sides. Take those off. And again, I'm working on a canvas, but I've cut it out on paper. And then we stuck it on here. Pretty simple. Make sure we got paint flowing through. Got about 20 PSI right now. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of give it a nice little shadow around the edge. Nice and light. And don't, we're not trying to like make it white, right? We're just trying to give it a shadow real quick, a little white highlight, and it doesn't take much uh, to actually change what's there. And then right off of the edge, right? So off of the, say like this this top edge right here on both sides we're just going to kind of move build in kind of the the molar part of the teeth right so the, the top part the like the textured part across the top and when the whites reduce like this you know it's going to take a little bit of 
building it up. So we're going to kind of work that side and then we're going to come back to this side. Give that a second to dry, come back, build up a little more. Same thing. We're just going to kind of work it in slowly with white. That's why we reduced it. We don't want to build up a bright, bright white right away. <clears throat> Cool. Move on to the next tooth. And you notice I didn't get it super bright white. I'm kind of leaving that one in. It is in the back, so we don't need it to be super bright white right away. Now when we get to the second tooth, you no longer have that top edge, but you'll notice that it is kind of marked off. So we want to kind of avoid that. <clears throat> and in order to do that, we're just going to build a shadow, right? So off of this right edge, I'm going to kind of build it and going up and around. See that? towards the top and the other side. But I kind of leave that dark edge around there. And then we build our texture off of this side, just like before. And then maybe this time we just make it a little bit brighter, right? Just a little bit brighter this time. So also when you do a painting kind of like this on a dark and you're kind of working a negative, it makes it pop a whole lot more. So back in the day when we used to do a lot of the shirts, um, we used to charge more on black, but man, like do some of that lettering and you do the white, you know, the white edges around it. Ooh, boy, you get it to pop, pop. And it, it just looks like neon, like it looks really good. So. Um, same thing like with the canvas and art, but doing the same thing, kind of just working our way around with the teeth, same process as the second tooth. And again, just build up the, the top texture of the tooth, the grip of the tooth. Is that what I'm going to call it? The grip of the tooth. And just work it around, simple. Now once we start getting towards the inside here, we're gonna kind of build off, you see this, there's a point here when it switches to the, kind of the canine teeth. And from there, we're gonna kind of take a shadow and take it, a, up and same thing on the other side a nice little highlight going up and then build a shadow going inside nice little just a nice little soft hit on the bottom here nothing too too crazy but we do want to make it just a little bit brighter than the last one so we're going to just hit a little bit extra Make sure we get it in there nice and good. Bam. And we're just we're gonna work our way all the way down into the middle teeth. Simple process. Now when you get to this tooth, right, that same edge um, coming off of the other tooth, so you'll see the edge build that same little shadow and we're going to we're going to shadow our tooth to the bottom side so you're going to see the inside part of the tooth is going to be highlighted and the what would normally face you towards the outside because his mouth is open right so you're seeing kind of the inside of the teeth so this is kind of the inside of the mouth like where your tongue would be <clears throat> and that's the part we're highlighting um and that's the part we want to be bright. And then on the bottom side, we're just going to kind of give it a nice little hit on the edge, but nothing too bright. Same thing on the other side, right? We're going to kind of want to build it from the inside there. And then just hit the shadow.
on to the next set of teeth. And right here you can kind of see where it's like the top part of the tooth and the inner part of the tooth that's lit. And kind of the front part is going to be sitting in the shadow for today. So just draw them. And if you see like this piece too, you want to bring in your curve and maybe just use the curve or you could cut the stencil there, but I honestly feel that a nice soft edge there kind of works a little better than a hard edge on these teeth right there. So that's kind of why I like building it up just by hand. Sometimes a little soft edge. You know, it's sharp, but it's also not as sharp as if you would use a stencil or something. Take it all the way with it. Simple. And then here on the bottom draw, there's this cut that goes right along the teeth on both sides. We're going to take that and kind of just, we want to uncover that so we can just cut the rest of this off there actually and just bend this over right, so we just want to hit that edge right there maybe even come off a little bit towards the the side bam same thing on the other side this part off just hit that edge simple and so this time kind of instead of building shadows we're building highlights and working our way around <clears throat> I'm gonna peel off the rest of his lower jaw here Gonna hit the edge with a nice shadow, nice little highlight all the way around. Now, on this top here where it meets the like cheekbone, I'm just gonna lightly just one little quick shadow not as extended as the rest of it. And then you have your basic layout for all your lower jaw there. Right, simple stuff, nothing too crazy. And from here we could build our, our highlights even more if you wanna add texture. And this, you know, I'm gonna go back and do that um, once we have our whole, lay, um, whole layout for our skull. I'm going to kind of add a little bit more paint into our mixture, make it a little bit brighter white, and then we'll go back and add some more highlights to it. But for now, I'm going again, starting with the most sided teeth there, and I'm just going to go from the edge. And then I'm going to build up a nice highlight coming right off the middle on each tooth from the top going down. Right, so make sure I hit the edge first, bam, and then just right off the top going down, and that's just to create a nice little cylindrical look, um, kind of quickly and easily without having to do too much. Now on your second tooth, if you've gone around the whole edge, you're going to have these edges right at these, 
these kind of dark edges um, next to the previous tooth. And we kind of want to use that. <clears throat> so we're going to bring our highlight right down from the middle. Bam. And then right around this right edge in the bottom, I'm just going to give it a nice little highlight. And we're going to leave that dark edge. Same thing on the other side. Just bring a nice little highlight down the middle. Right? And then just right around the left side. Just a nice little highlight. And we'll leave that dark edge on that side along. Same process for the next set of teeth. And today too we're working on a canvas just to show that this kind of this paper process can be taken across mediums. So whether you're just working on a nice fine art or a piece of metal or something like that. Um, this process can be taken across all that stuff. So now on this little tooth, on these teeth here, I'm going to just build it up a little bit brighter. And then once we move into these final two teeth in the front, we're going to build it up nice and bright. And as bright as we can. We're working with reduced white. And that's on purpose <clears throat> so that we could go back and highlight it even more and also a way to play with our design because this this skull design even though it's pretty nice just as it is there's very easy ways to modify it and make it your own um, and I'll go over that in just a second so just here we're building up the highlight come down right off the middle right. Give it some air, let it dry a little bit, build up another another pass. Bam. Bam. Cool. And then we're going to take off our main section of skull here. We're going to leave behind the eyes and the nose. they don't move out of place and leave we're gonna try to leave these sides where well, that side already came off but oh, here it is let's just put this back on there cool so now we have our whole main skull off right and we've left the kind of the, the ear area here after your main crown we've left the eyes and the nose and so it's kind of in place and quickly I'm just gonna go around hit the top the whole top here just a nice little tone and I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the cheeks and you see we highlighted the lower jawbone so we already have this line here this nice dark tone on both sides and all we have to do is kind of connect it to our teeth going all the way around with that highlight though nice little shadow nothing crazy <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and build up his brow so go on one side highlight the top of the eye kind of go all the way around with it really just gonna mark it but we're gonna do a little bit more pronounced across the top now here you could decide uh, again what kind of attitude your skull wants to take you want it to make it mean or anything like that uh, here on the brow is a really easy way so if you angle these in say like right if you're doing these and you angle them in towards the center it's gonna give it a more angry look if you bring them in and then you know bring them in a little bit and angle it's gonna give an even more angry look now say we don't do that say we build up a, a nose highlight here and then we kind of build up a highlight here coming off the middle and then we give more of a kind of a emphasis on our outer lip here on the eye it'll give him more of a just a subtle you know just normal look he won't look as angry or anything like that 
I like making them look angry, um, and that's kind of why the eyes are already angled in. If you wanted to cut these out and maybe bring it up a little bit, it'll give them more of a softer look um, or more worried look, depending on what you're trying to go for again. So again, I'm just gonna bring it in right off of the that same curve. I'm just gonna kind of bring in a highlight there, and then I'm gonna just make sure to pronounce the top of the eye a little better. I'm gonna bring a highlight off of the top of the nose going up. And then we're gonna mark it around. Now right off the center here, we're gonna bring it down into the teeth. Bam. And then kind of the same thing. So off of the teeth here, just gonna build a little soft dagger stroke going right up into the nose there. And up into the third tooth, you see that? And we're gonna kind of wrap it around. So same thing on this side, up into the third tooth and then kind of wrap it around the nose there. <clears throat> and that's kind of gonna give us our, our frontal jaw here. And then we're gonna build up our cheeks. So coming off of the eye here, I'm just gonna build up and start kind of building up our cheek and bringing it around. So I kind of want this to connect all the way to the outside, right? And then I'm gonna leave a little bit of space for that little dark area. And then you see this stencil line here that we still have. I'm gonna bring it off of this stencil right there and bring it around. Simple. Now, as you can tell, I'm not doing anything super bright yet because all I'm trying to use this for is kind of like an under basis. Um, and then, like I said, I'm gonna mix up a little bit more white in there, and then we're gonna really hit it with some, some white highlights and give it some more detail. But if you wanted to go through and do all that at once, uh, for any reason, uh, you could. I kind of like building it up and then I like unmasking it and kind of making sure my eye has a view of everything so I could kind of make it even. That's just my, my take on it. So building up the other side, just kind of matching it. Simple. Now obviously you're going to have to use your imagination, right? Like there, I have no... I have no reference. I'm not using a reference right now. Oh man, I'm just talking and I didn't even pay attention. What's up, Jesus Maldonado? What's it go how's it going, man? Oh, that's yeah. You see, so when you're working on a dark background like this, Stephen Ward, it's good to just build it up lightly. What's up, Heather? How's it going? Hello, hello. Um, so yeah, I kind of you know just use that edge and just build it up. And using the white really reduced like that is a good way. And it's kind of giving me a nice subtle uh, gray, right? It almost looks gray. It's not really white. And so I'm just going to start building up the forehead. And again, coming right off the middle here. So you see it got this white highlight. Kind of creates an indention here. I'm going to create that highlight that goes into the forehead right there and then just build it up around. So yeah, again, using your own little imagination, you could give this skull, you know, a different look with the eyebrows. Maybe you switch out his teeth. Maybe you give him one missing tooth. You know, again, there's all like different little ways to kind of make it your own. You don't have to just follow the design as it is. Or maybe you do follow the design the first time and then the second time you decide, you know, maybe you want to do it a little different. That's perfectly fine as well. So I'm just taking off the eyes. I'm gonna take off the edge of the, the head here and the nose. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the edge of the head there real quick. Nothing too crazy, just hit the edge. And then on the inside of the eye, kind of on the bottom here, I'm just gonna kind of build up the inside of the eye going around. Nothing too crazy. 
<laughs> you know, because the inside of the eye is not completely black. You can actually see in there, the back, there's bone in there, but I do like having a nice shadow. Same thing with the nose. There's an inner structure to the nose. You kind of build that around. Simple. And go back and finish up our jaw. Again, the highlights are across the top. So I'm just kind of giving an indention for all my little teeth here on the inside. Now you can just peel it off. There you go. We have our nice little skull design. Kind of all readied in, grayed in, right? So you can see it's just kind of like an undertone it's not really super super white or anything like that but all I'm gonna do here <clears throat> is take our same paint and there's still some in there and I'm just gonna take some more wicked white straight out of the bottle and now now and only now that, that bottles toast see now I got to work on finishing that bottle Give this a really good shake and we'll go ahead and detail it in. Now, if you want to use this, uh, the cutouts and stuff like that to kind of give yourself a good edge. Um, also, if you maybe you just want to use your curve set to use that to work your way around and or if you want to use your texture stencils which i'm going to do to give the skull some texture and maybe some you know highlights and that that's totally fine again i'm just going to take some really really opaque white now and i'm just going to start First off, I'm going to go with my little skull stencil here, my texture stencil. I'm just going to kind of give them some texture around. Nothing too crazy, but I do want some of this. Some there. In there. And I just kind of do it at random and then we're going to come back and kind of work some freehand around this texture here. So it gives me a good little, without you know having to use uh, too much imagination, that once I've laid the texture in, I just kind of come in and use that little texture that to kind of build up the rest of it. Now again, depending on what you have at home, what stencils or what textures, maybe you have no textures, you could just go in and just, you know, on your edges here, obviously we want to build up the white. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't go off, but it did. And we're just going to build it up and bring it in. sec
so yeah, we just come around and start building in that white, and giving everything some nice texture. Again, on these front teeth here, we've already given ourselves a good base, right? So with the white highlights that we did using the stencil, we could just kind of come back and reinforce that, add some little strokes. Right. See, like here, maybe I want a little crack coming up. And so I just split up the gray using two white lines and kind of shade it around. Creates a nice little effect there. Now again, I've talked about the teeth before, how the teeth are not just like teeth. There's usually like a, like a root to the teeth. So here, what I'm gonna do is just kind of outline where I want my tooth, bring a highlight down from there, right? Because the teeth are not that big. Maybe they're only this big. And then I'm going to just give the root of the teeth, which is this part, and just a little texture here. See, you can see I'm building up the highlight here, but I'm leaving the edge, I'm leaving that dark edge alone. And I'm just kind of working my edge and my tooth. Again, this is one of those areas where I believe, uh, gee, that compressor is so loud. <laughs> is that A4 size picture, Mike? It's a 16 by 20 canvas. So yeah, here now I could hear myself talk. So I'm just building up the teeth here and leaving space on that big area of the tooth, right? That's why we made them so big, is so that the top area can be kind of a root. Leaving, I'm highlighting the top, but leaving the bottom and kind of using that edge that we created using the, the stencil to still keep the outline of the teeth. I'm not making a highlight all the way around. I'm not touching the, the bottom. I'm kind of just splitting the tooth into a root and a tooth, right? So split, right? And this part will be brighter because it's a little bit of the tooth. And then this is the root, so we're gonna give it some texture. And bring in some more of that texture across the top. That's all we're doing. I'm probably still going to come back with some black at the very end just to make it, you know, just to reinforce the darks a little bit. building up the inside of the nose and just using my imagination a little bit I'm not really trying to follow a reference we're not trying to do no photorealism nothing like that we're just kind of having fun with a nice skull making it look nice and evil nice and just nice and cool I mean, what can I say again coming off the top or the bottom of the eyes here building up that same kind of highlight that we already had by now you guys know how to do lines and we're going to mesh those lines into the inside of the eye there and then bring that highlight down right 
So bring this highlight coming down into the texture that we built up and giving it some freehand texture to match and blend it all in together. Same thing on the other side, bring in the highlight, kind of mesh it in going into the eye. And then we're gonna bring that highlight down with a little bit of texture to match the texture we already did using the, the texture stencil. Build the top of the nose. <clears throat> And I'm just like giving them a little bit of cracks and maybe a little bit of deformities here to make it look kind of cool, kind of different. I'm gonna build in the inside here, and then we're gonna give the brow a nice highlight on each side. Remember where we built up that shadow? So we're gonna give that sh nice thing a nice highlight, bring it down, and then we're gonna build up our eyebrows on each side so building it in again using that same highlight we made earlier as a good base of where it should go and we're not touching the the top of the eye there we're going to kind of leave that alone for now we're just going to kind of build it a little bit off of the top there All right to the side there. Some stuff's better left untouched. Kind of the top there. If you want to just maybe give it a nice little quick roll over like that. It's about all it needs. A little roll over just so it looks like it's kind of, you know, soft and not just a nice hard line. Build up the center of the forehead. Some more whites. Blend it off. Make sure it's nice and even. Simple. Going back down to the bottom. Right, we have all our teeth. But we're gonna start right here with the bottom jaw. Kinda go around the teeth first. And we're kinda giving each little tooth kinda like its own little crown going around, right? Like a little surrounding shadow around the bottom. And we're gonna hit the edge there. And this is probably one spot where I do think that maybe having like this, so you could hit the edge of the teeth, right, the upper edge. Now it just makes it easy to highlight the teeth right there. But just highlight your teeth coming out of the jaw there. From the inside, right, from the inside of the mouth, not, like, because this is the front of the mouth, this is, like, the inside, towards the throat. Make sure you highlight your teeth around, right? Give them a little bit of extra shape. Bam. Your molars gotta look like molars. And so you kind of want to leave that those edges, right? And those edges that we left with this the stencil. It's kind of all about just kind of working around those and building up highlights. And I've seen. I've seen amazing artists do incredible work, but then when it comes to doing something on a dark color, like something on black or like something on a dark gray or something, and it completely, you know, it just, it's hard for them to kind of wrap their head around working backwards. Um, so it's pretty good practice. And this is a design we've actually done before, so I just thought it'd be a good way to reintroduce it uh, in a different way. Right. Just see, I gave those all a nice little highlight around. Going around. And 
there you go there we have our skull on gray using only white All right maybe you want to give him a little more a little more highlights here maybe you want to make him a little bit more poppy I kind of don't want to give him any black, to be quite honest with you. I, I was thinking about it for a sec, and I do think it would look cool, but I also think that just nothing but white and just building it up is the ultimate exercise, especially, you know, if it's something you have trouble with, just kind of building up the white slowly and working your way around and building it up more and more kind of might be a good way to go. Yeah, also, if you wanted to make him look like he's like stretching into the canvas or something like that, you could also do that. That would look cool. I'm just giving the edge a nice little hit. Bam. to you now and as always if you want to show me your results if you just want to share it with the community you don't want to be all public with it you just want to be a part of the nice little community we have going here down in the description you'll also find a link to the skull squad discord to the mike's brush discord and yeah down there you can share your results with everybody more private area no monkey business no nobody criticizing your work or calling it ugly and there you go guys that's kind of the result for today focus there you go oh I much more like having the camera on a mount Look at that, look at how smooth I can make it. As always, um, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully this video helps out in one way or another, whether it is just giving you a different outlook um, or a different way of doing something that maybe you just hadn't thought about it. Um, or maybe just like watching. A lot of people just tell me they just like watching the videos. They don't even like airbrushing that much but they really enjoy just watching something being made so yeah as always i appreciate all the support uh, thank you guys for watching if you really like these videos and you think they help and you want to support the channel joining the skull squad down below um, really helps out as always using the links down below helps you helps me provide you guys with more videos like this um, so I really appreciate you guys if you guys click on those links order your guys some stuff get yourself some while also providing the channel with something so that we could give you more of something it kind of always just seems like it's all about you because that's what it is um, <clears throat> as always big shout out to Createx again for providing the paint for today's video we got a nice little result here look at the difference in the cameras though like one camera it looks dark and the other camera it looks really bright which one do you think is more accurate? I don't know. I feel like that camera over there is actually showing more of what I see. This camera over here just feels like it's way too bright. Sometimes it feels like it gets it just right, but sometimes uh, maybe right there is about right. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for everything. Uh, thank you, Heather. Thank you, 50 Nuts. Thank you, Stephen Ward. Thank you guys, all, all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of the Skull Squad. As always, we'll see you guys next week. We're here every week on Thursday. Um, just kind of giving you guys a quick artwork, a quick little tutorial to show you guys some 
quick uh, techniques um, on making some nice airbrush art. So if you're just starting out or if you're just, you know, looking for more techniques or more ways of creating stuff. Um, yeah. As always, again, thank you guys for all the support that you guys provide around here. Um, it really, really helps. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys like today's video. The nice little setup. Got it all set up a little different. Um, and yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of get the rest of my painting here done on my own. Hopefully you guys enjoy the tutorial on the skull though. And we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one out there, guys. Um, stay out of trouble, kids.